Hello friends, I'm Varun Vora and welcome to my channel IT with Varun Vora to master the fundamentals and concepts not available in any book or over the web. Most trusted channel and resource to build or advance your career in IT audit, IT security, IT SOX, IT risk and IT compliance. Friends, as part of our ITGC journey, I already have over 125 videos related to various control areas across application server and database layers with a new video every week on my channel. So please leverage them to understand these concepts thoroughly and build or advance your career. Now in continuation of our walkthrough quotient series today, I will cover an important concept related to walkthrough quotients for IT application controls or ITAC in short, also known as automated control. It will deepen your knowledge on what questions to ask during walkthroughs. It is, imp it is important to understand this for any risk, security, control, compliance, or audit assessment. Before we dive into the questions, friends, just a quick recap on the key purpose of a walkthrough is walking through a process area with the process or control owners to understand the end-to-end -end design. So that's the key objective of any walkthrough. Now it's important to prepare your questions appropriately for a successful walkthrough to just understand clearly what that end-to-end -end process looks like. So now let us discuss the key walkthrough questions related to IT application controls or automated control. Now application or automated controls are related to three key processes which are all related to data which is input, data input, data output and data processing. And as we discussed in my prior video on ITAC testing, there are five common types of application controls. So friends, please refer to my video on IT application controls to understand these in detail from a testing standpoint. But for now, for today, we will discuss the key walkthrough questions for each of the five common types of application controls which I've listed on the board here. So let's go through them one by one. So first one is the edit check. Key questions related to edit check are first is what is the process for edit check in the system? Again, I've highlighted some of these pointers in blue, which will give you some, some cues around what does the question exactly mean? What kind of context, if needed, you need to provide to the process owners in case they, they need more clarity on what that question is. So for the first one, what is the process for edit check in the system? We are looking for any sort of controls related to the field format. For example, how does the system ensure that the dollar amount is numeric or the invoice date is in date format? So that's what this question is all about. Second question is, is the edit check automated? And if yes, is there any limitation with respect to this automated check. So that's important to understand as part of this discussion. Third is around what happens in case of incorrect value. Is there an error message or any sort of alert coming from the system if somebody enters an incorrect value? Like the example we earlier took, if somebody enters a, a wrong value in the dollar amount field or a wrong value in the date field, what happens in that case? So these are the key questions for the first application automated control, which is edit check. Uh, 